I had this very good friend, Gerard, and uh, we had done most things together all of our lives since we were boys. And uh, we wandered across Africa in the most remote parts, even areas where you know, the more intrepid explorers wouldn't go in modern times. Then he got killed. And it was a very difficult time for me, you know, uh, to, uh, to, to live with this. And I wondered what I could do. I couldn't bring him back. Uh, so I thought maybe I should write up a few stories of what we had done so that the children, our children at least, uh, could, uh, could read it. And uh, I started writing. I wrote one story and another and another. And then eventually it was quite a few. I have to admit that in a way I've always been a closet writer as a... As a little boy, I used to walk around telling myself stories in my head. Of course, I never wrote them down or published them or anything like that, but I was always compiling stories in my head. I can only write about action and has to be an element of adventure in it. So I, I, I look for something like that and then I build, start building the story around it. And I have no idea how it's going to come out. It's, it's like a, a journey and uh, you discover what's going to happen as you write because the, the, the characters have got emotions and they got thoughts and they got circumstances and it's difficult to predict what they're going to do before you actually get to the point where they have to take a decision and do something. So I guess to a, to a large extent one ends up writing about yourself too and it is an exploration of yourself in a way so you end up um, writing about things that you've thought or felt or hadn't thought or felt but had always been there and when you start thinking about it uh, in such a shall we say deep way uh, you start realizing these things about yourself and then you write about it so yes I think it does have an influence on uh, I don't know whether it changes you but it, 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 it helps you explore yourself and maybe understand yourself a bit better uh, let me make the confession. I would love to be a full-time writer. It fascinates me. I love it. It's like sculpting in words because you can actually take away clay and put back clay and form it in different ways and give it different kinds of action and expression and so on. So it's, I, I love the process. Um, I guess I have something of my father who was an artist in me.